Hello guys, welcome in this video. Today our topic is how to write the basic syntax of assembly language. So let's begin our lecture right without any further delay. So as in my previous video, I have told you how to do the linker setting of Visual Studio. So by following this setting, uh, open that previous file. So do that. First of all, open your Visual Studio. As a Visual Studio performance depend upon your uh, specification of your computer or laptop. So don't worry if it takes uh, a little bit of time. So now I am going to open Visual Studio 2019 version that uh, I will use throughout uh, this whole series. It will take some time to display on screen. As you can see on, on screen, the loading of Visual Studio 2019. So here a welcome screen of Visual Studio is displayed. So let's begin our further procedure. It will take some time to open. So now here Visual Studio 2019 has been opened. So let's begin it. Uh, as I want to open a, a previous file that I have been created in my last video. So here I will go with continue without code. Uh, by selecting with continue without code, it will show a blank screen uh, that is uh, without any notepad in a uh, Visual Studio. So we, we can uh, further open uh, the last project that we have created. So you can see on our screen a blank project has been displayed on our screen. So now let's open that file that we have created in our last lecture. So click on open. Uh, first of all go to the file menu and then uh, in drop down menu you will see an open option. And in open option the first, uh, then the first option is project solution. Uh, click on the project solution it will take some time to open a windows explorer file as a browse file browse window where you can select your uh, previously made uh, assembly language As you can see on our screen the loading icon has been displayed so let's again wait for the windows explorer window so here you can see uh, the windows explorer window has been displayed and now we will select the previous file that we have created so here i am having a file that is assembly startup open that folder and uh, you will select assembly startup dot sln click on open it will take some time to load the project in Visual Studio and also in Mambi of your laptop or computer. After a notepad is displayed here, we will start to write the basic syntax of Visual Studio. So let's wait.
project is being loaded into the memory to write for the further code. Here you can see the loading project 01 it means that our project is being loaded in memory uh, when it is completed here we can see our ready option uh, you will also see that loading project solution and after a few times our project will be loaded into the memory and then uh, we are free to write our basic syntax of assembly language so the microsoft visual studio has preparing the solution for our uh, assembly language code uh, our project has been loaded in memory and uh, the notepad will be displayed on our screen uh, you can see the project is ready now so if you can't see a notepad on your screen then go to the source files and here you can find your dot uh, asm dot uh, assembly language file so double click on it and you will see uh, immediately notepad on your screen uh, notepad where you can write your uh, assembly language code so now the notepad is displayed on screen so let's write the basic syntax of assembly language so first of all dot 386 that, uh, that is the first line of our assembly language code then include irwine 32 dot inc then dot model small that stack under dash that dot data and then dot code then main proc invoke exit process comma zero main and p and main so this is the basic syntax of our assembly language code that will be used in every program before writing the main code so uh, dot data is a portion where we will initialize variables and uh, dot code is a portion where we will write our basic program commands so let's check our program is working or not so click on build and uh, uh, then click on build solution by clicking on build solution it will take some time to load in memory after that uh, uh, you can see here in uh, output our program has been built successfully so let's wait uh, you can see build one succeeded so this was the our today lecture thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and press the button